They're sometimes called slot machines or one-armed bandits because gamblers are more likely to lose than win. Yet thousands of people play them every day chasing that elusive jackpot. But what's behind the flashing lights and spinning wheels? At Bally Gaming in the USA, they make nearly 300 new slot machines every day. The first thing that's needed is a big cabinet for all the thousands of parts to be put into. The engineers will kit this out with over 100 meters of color-coded cable. Fruit machines used to be mechanical, but times have moved on, and the modern machine takes gamblers' money electronically. One great example of how fruit machines have moved with the times is wrapped up in one of its names. As we've heard, many people know them as one-armed bandits. This name came about because you pulled the arm on the side of the machine, and it then took all of your money. The arm would trigger a mechanical device which would spin the wheels. Modern machines still have the arm for tradition's sake, but it only triggers an electronic sensor. No matter how hard you pull it, it still sends the same signal to the computer to spin the reels for you. Times have moved on so much, the designers now let you start the reels with this button as an alternative. But a one-button bandit just doesn't sound right. Another part that's given these machines one of many names is the coin slot. Without this opening, the so-called slot machines wouldn't be able to take your cash. The original ones only accepted coins, but richer folk like gambling too, so the designers of fruit machines now include a handy receptacle for banknotes as well. Now, if you do play the slots, all your hard-earned wages end up in a box like this. Every now and then, the machine will release some of the contents. It is, of course, the jackpot. But this is very rare, and it's usually the machine's owner who goes home with most of the money. The designers paint all the payout trays gold in the hope that its glitter will tempt gamblers to try and win some gold for themselves. But the real temptation of slot machines lies here in these wheels. Whenever they're spinning, there's always hope they'll stop in the magic jackpot combination. The wheels themselves look like large hamster wheels you get in pet shops, but the outside has a special plastic layer. This is where the magical combinations of cherries, lucky sevens, bells and dollar signs spin round in those tempting combinations. Once they've been put together, the reels are then fitted into each new fruit machine and given a quick spin to check they're going to work properly. Wherever there's a chance to win money, there's also the temptation for some people to cheat, so security has to be very tight. Working in the factory that makes fruit machines gives the workers the opportunity to rig them. But that's not possible these days because even the slightest improper movement of the reel will set off an error code which stops any payouts. Everything is computer controlled these days and fruit machines are no exception. The heart of the device contains the random number generator which decides when the wheels should stop spinning. Once everything's in place, staff are allowed to test the machines out. But although they know how the machines work and they could cheat, no wins are paid out here. Any problems the workers find can be fixed at this point. These machines may seem quite simple, but they're made out of almost 10,000 separate parts and cost over £20,000 each. The completed units can now be added to the long line of finished machines. These will then be delivered to the casinos of Las Vegas. It's estimated that there are over 200,000 fruit machines, one-armed bandits and slots in Nevada. But no matter what you call them, the end result is always the same. Empty pockets for the gamblers and full pockets for the operators.